Over the last few videos, we've been talking about different methods for how to solve systems of linear equations. Well, here we're going to ask a slightly different question. Here we're going to look at how do we solve systems of linear inequalities. So these will have greater than or less than symbols in them. So we need to look at, at things that might be different if you had this as opposed to a system of equations. Well, actually solving systems of linear inequalities is actually quite uh, simple if we remember how to just handle just one linear inequality. So, so actually the way we're gonna start is actually don't, don't even worry about a system at this point. Just remember, and I, I have uh, some videos on this from, from an earlier chapter on how to handle just linear inequalities. So you can go back to those videos for more detail, but I'll give a quick overview right here. So here, don't even worry about the second equation. Just, just think about one. So the way you graph a single linear inequality is you treat it as if it was an equation so in your mind you would think y equals 2x minus 3 for example all right and you're gonna graph it as a solid line if this was an a greater than or less than or or equals to and if it was a strict inequality it would be a dotted line so solid line or dotted line depending on what your inequality looks like now, you'll recall that the solutions to these inequalities are going to be points all over the plane that fall on one side of the line or the other. It might be the top side, it might be the bottom side, we don't really know. So the next thing we do is we pick a test point clearly on one of the sides. So for example, let's say your line looks something like this. You would pick a test point either on this side or this side, it doesn't even matter. Um, I usually recommended in the earlier video to use 0, 0 if, if possible. Now, based off of that test point, what you're going to do is you're going to plug it in that x, y value and see if the inequality turns out to be true. And then based off of whether it's true or false, you're either going to shade that side that the test point's on or shade the other side. So that's why I said shade the appropriate side. So once you do that, you'll get you know a whole region in the plane of solutions. Now that's just for that one inequality, not for the system. But actually now it's quite simple. If you're looking for the solutions to a system of inequalities, you just do that same process for all of your inequalities. So you have a shaded region for the first inequality, a different shaded region for the second inequality, maybe a third shaded region if you have a third inequality. Now let's think about this though. What would be the solution to the entire system? Let's, let's think of what it means to be a, sol a solution to a system. That would be an ordered pair that makes all of the inequalities true at the same time. So what you're gonna be looking at for your final answer, and we'll do an example in just a moment, is any overlapping regions. Because in those overlapped shaded areas, those would be places that are solutions for all of the inequalities. All right, so let's let's give it a try and, and, and see how we do. So we'll cover this one up. <clears throat> and um, here I rewrote the same exercise again on a blank page. And we're, we'll color code these so we can keep everything straight. So I've got a blue inequality and a yellow inequality. So let's start with the blue one. So I'm gonna graph y equals 2x minus three. So that has a y-intercept of negative three and a slope of two. So I'll go up two over one, up one, two over one, uh, so on and so forth. This is gonna be a solid line because of, of the or equals two that's in there. So I'm gonna try to carefully graph a line right here. Now the solutions to this blue inequality are either gonna be on this side or on this side. I'm not really sure which one. <clears throat> so for the blue inequality, we're gonna pick a test point I think I'm going to try 0, 0. 0, 0 usually works out easiest if you can. If you can, use that one. So let's plug in 0 for y and 0 for x. We'd have the inequality 0 is greater than or equal to 2 times 0 minus 3. So I'm asking you, is that a true statement? Is, is, is that is 0 really greater than 2 times 0 minus 3? I don't know. Let's see. 2 times 0 is 0. 0 minus 3 is negative 3, and 0 is greater than negative 3. So that's true. So the side that my test point was on worked out, 
which means we're going to shade that entire side that my test point was on. If that statement had turned out to be false, I would have shaded the other side. Let's do the same thing with the second inequality. Y strictly less than negative X plus 5. So I'm going to graph Y equals negative X plus 5. It's got a Y intercept of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and a slope of negative 1. So you're going to go down 1 over 1, down 1 over 1, down 1 over 1. And this one's going to be a dotted line, again, because it's a strict inequality. So dot, 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 dot. Okay, it's not a great graph, but you get the idea. All right, looks good. All right, for him, let's pick a test point. Again, I think I'll use 0, 0. Um, the only thing about your test point is it just cannot be on your line. So it could be any point. It doesn't have to be 0, 0. It just can't be on your line. So let's plug in 0, 0. Is it true that 0 is less than negative 0 plus 5? Yes, it is. 0 is less than 5. That's, that's true. So we're going to shade this side, the side that the test point's on. Okay, so you have these two regions, the blue region and the yellow region. Now, what's the solution to the system? That's, that's the important question. What's the solution to the system? That's any overlapping regions for yellow and blue. And I picked yellow and blue on purpose because if you overlap yellow and blue, you get green, right? And so what, what would be the green region? Well, I, th I think the green region would be somewhere, somewhere kind of in here. Okay, any, anything here that I'm shading in in green, that would be part of the solution to the system. Any of these ordered pairs, I'll just highlight a representative dot in bright pink right here. This pink dot right here that I'm highlighting, that ordered pair XY would make not just the first inequality true because it's in the blue region, but it would also make the second inequality true because it's also in the yellow region. So that's how you solve a system of inequalities. You do them independently of one another and then just look for any regions that happen to overlap.